Barasa Valley, Wikipedia article audio. The Barasa Valley is a valley in South Australia located 60 kilometers northeast of Adelaide city centre. The valley is formed by the North Para River. The Barasa Valley Way is the main road through the valley, connecting the main towns on the valley floor of Nurioatpa, Tanunda, Roland Flat, and Lindock. The Barasa Valley is notable as a major wine-producing region and tourist destination. The Barasa Valley derives its name from the Barasa Range, which was named by Colonel William Light in 1837. Light chose the name in memory of the British victory over the French in the Battle of Barossa, in which he fought in 1811. The name Barossa was registered in error, due to a clerical error in transcribing the name Barossa. The area is approximately 13 by 14 kilometers. History People the three major towns of the Barasa all have distinctive personalities. Tanunda is generally recognized as the most German of the three, with long-standing traditions dating back to the 1840s when the first German settlers arrived in the area. Since many of the German settlers came from Prussian Silesia, they called the Barasa New Schlesien, or New Silesia. The German influence survives to this day. Angustan, in contrast, is considered the English town as it was settled predominantly by Cornish miners and others from Britain. The third town, Nurioatpa, was influenced by both the German and British settlers, and today is the commercial hub of the Barasa and it is where most of the larger stores are located. Tanunda and Angustan are considered tourist towns in comparison to Nurioatpa because they have many more facilities to cater for tourists. In February 2011, South Australian Premier Mike Rann announced that special legislation would be introduced to protect the unique heritage of the Barossa Valley and McLaren Vale. Premier Rann said, Barossa and McLaren Vale food and wine are key icons of South Australia. We must never allow the Barossa or McLaren Vale to become suburbs of Adelaide. The Character Preservation Act 2012 was subsequently passed by the South Australian Parliament. Currently, the Barossa Valley has a population of about 20,000. Most inhabitants live in Tanunda, Nurioatpa, Angustan, Williamstown, and Lindock, each having over 1,000 people. The remaining population lives in a few smaller towns, such as Makolta and Springton. All of these towns are part of the Barasa local government. Many facilities not available in these towns are usually supplemented in nearby Gawler. In recent years, increased development in the area has seen opposition from the local communities. The region has a strong German Lutheran history, and many residents identify themselves as Lutherans. Some towns have more than one Lutheran church. Tanunda, for example, has Lang Mile, St. Paul's, Tabor and St. John's. Nurioatpa has St. Petrie and Holy Trinity. Angustan has Zion and Salem. Each major town also has a Lutheran primary school. Tanunda has Tanunda Lutheran School, Nurioatpa has Redeemer, and Angustan has Good Shepherd. St. Jacoby, the Lutheran primary school at Lindock hosts the Barasa Air Show annually as its fundraiser. Religion Major Town Populations As a rural region, there is also significant population outside of the town centers. Population The wine industry plays a major role in the Barasa, being the main source of employment for many residents. 
The many hectares of vineyards are the most distinctive feature of the area, especially when viewed from the Mangler Hill Lookout, which is positioned on the Barasa Range which forms much of the eastern side of the valley. The success of the wine industry has historically been celebrated every two years with a week-long Barasa Valley Vintage Festival. The festival draws visitors from all over the world and has entertainment for all tastes including a huge street parade, concerts, and gourmet dining. The Barasa Valley is primarily known for its red wine, in particular Shiraz. Normally, large proportions of Barasa Shiraz are used in Penfolds Grange, Australia's most famous wine. Other main grape varieties grown in the region include, Riesling, Semillon, Greenwich and Cabernet Sauvignon. Fortified wines have been traditionally produced in the region as well. The Barossa Valley is a rich source of some of the oldest Shiraz vines in the world. Shiraz vines planted as early as 1847 by Johann Frederick August Fiedler on Lot 1. Hundred of Mururu are still in commercial production today by Turkey Flat Vineyards. Wine Industry Although it is overshadowed by the wine industry, significant food production occurs in the Barasa Valley, including Food Production The Barasa Valley holds a weekly farmer's market, supplying local produce which is sold directly by the producer. Festivals The week-long Barasa Vintage Festival is held biennially, in odd-numbered years. The festival runs for around a week in autumn, and traditionally marks and celebrates the completion of the year's vintage season, at the end of March and beginning of April. A variety of wine-themed events are held during the festival, including wine tastings and competitions, musical events, food events with local produce, balls, and parades. The Barasa Vintage Festival was first held in 1947, to celebrate the end of the grape harvest, and the end of hostilities in World War II, and has run continually since. It is Australia's oldest and longest-running wine festival. Barasa Vintage Festival the Barasa Gourmet Weekend is a three-day food, wine, and art celebration held in the third weekend of August every year. Local wineries and venues host individual events throughout the Barasa, offering food, wine, music, arts, and hospitality. Barasa Gourmet Weekend Bakeries that produce traditional German breads and pastries butchers who produce meat and small goods in the German style, artisan cheesemakers, Maggie Beer is a renowned cook, food author, restaurateur, and food manufacturer. Her farm shop sells a range of condiments under her name. She is CEO presenter of ABC Television's program The Cook and the Chef.